I have been saying the same things on different pl platforms before I was on YouTube, whatever. I have been saying the same damn things since at least 2015. But when I said that, Eugene, it was like, oh, this bitch is teaching us to settle. Oh, this bitch is promoting struggle love. When in all actuality, all I was doing was trying to get us in the habit of being realistic in getting and obtaining the desired result. Let's be real. A lot of y'all gonna get a man that's making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Come on. You ain't never even made that. You're not even in the same realm as a man that makes that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, ah, oh, no. Nah. Like, we, we have um burger king betty's talking about ah oh, nah you know i need i need a, a dude that's making at least a hundred and fifty thousand and it's like girl a man making forty five thousand would be good enough for you but when you say that it's like oh my god you see that's what i'm talking about bitch like bitches like her teaching us to settle but then burger king betty turns 36 39 46 53 now she's like you know what ladies like you know we should be able to get with a man making 60k making 50k like so i mean to be honest like a man making 45 that's cool with me because you know we can combine our resources now you want to combine your fucking resources and shit you ain't got no problem with it now but the the issue is eugene a lot of those women that are ready and willing to then make those adjustments and make those compromises, they have a difficult time even settling. Oh, whoopsie. Now you want to settle and can't. Now you're willing to settle and cannot. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Thanks again to Torian. Yeah, I like the video. Share the video. Subscribe. Uh, give us 448 likes, y'all. Let me, you know what? Let me go ahead and check on the likes because y'all know y'all be playing with your little big sister. Y'all be playing with us. Let me let me look. 260. Oh no. Oh no, y'all. We should have at least 400 likes. At least. Okay. Help your little big sister out. Likes are free. <laughs> it helps us out. Now, y'all already know when we have dope discussions like this, they don't want to hear. They don't want to push. They don't want to promote. So when y'all like the video, it helps us out greatly all this time you guys over the years with me making my content whether it was spoken word or just my short little clips you know i'm talking about since 2015 i've been going through this shit, y'all when all i've been trying to do was help to prevent this to prevent oh it's too late but nobody wanted to hear it Everybody was like, oh, she's just a pick me. Oh, she's just pandering. Oh, she don't know what she's talking about. She's too young. Now you're too old. And if you're not too old, you're too dried up, too ran through. Too, and, and, and no man really takes you serious. Like, let's get it. Let's make this clear. It doesn't necessarily have to be an age that makes it too late. It could be a reputation. 
It could be um, your lifestyle. To where it's like, yeah, it's kind of too late because look what look at the damage that you've created for your life. Again, a, a man would feel like he he's being brought down to get with you. A man would have to drop his standards 20 times over in order to even be with you. Hold on, we're going to be real. Again, some of y'all, you, you, again, you can be you can be younger, right? But you've done so much damage throughout your years as far as just like, let's say, racking on baby daddies, racking on debt, racking on this poor reputation, racking on bodies. To the point to where it's like getting with a woman like this, uh, I don't know what that would do for my reputation. I don't know what that would do for my finances. I don't know what that would do for my lifestyle. And it's so unfortunate that so many of y'all would reject the truth. When it can absolutely benefit you and then want to accept the truth when it could very well be too damn late. Now, I'm going to say something and it's going to get real uncomfortable. But I'm going to say it anyway because I'm watching and I'm listening to my brothers. I'm, I'm gaining the understanding. This is why I'm able to articulate the things that I'm trying to convey over to the women because I'm listening to my brothers. Now, I'm getting ready to say something that's going to be uncomfortable, but this is what I'm hearing from the streets from my brothers. Y'all, we can hit 500. Y'all like the video. I'm going to say it, sportsman. Hey, C. Rose. While there are exceptions to the rule to where you can be an older woman and all of that, or you can have a lot of baggage attached to you and all of that, or you can have a bad reputation, whatever the case is, you know, and, and you can look up and find love and all of that and find a man that's going to take care of you and all of that. It's exceptions. I've seen it. We've all seen it. However, let's be real. A lot of my brothers are saying, I'm not, I'm not going to turn around and invest my time, my money, my resources into, again, this, mm, just bear with me when I say this. I'm not going to invest all those things into a woman that is just ran through, dried up, old, out of shape, not really ideal. When I can go and get a, I don't know, younger, prettier, more coachable, moldable model of woman. Are y'all following me with that? So, mm, to be honest, you guys, for a lot of us, it's too damn late because a man would feel like, once again, he is wasting more than he is investing. See, when you invest into something, you get a return on it. Usually that's how it goes, right? We put our money into something because we, we expect to reap something. We appreciate, you know, whatever it is that uh, we're investing into, whatever. If we feel like it's beneficial 
or we want to see more of it, or we feel like, you know, this will actually help me. We invest into it, whether it be financially, energetically, emotionally, mentally, whatever. We invest into that so that we can, again, reap some kind of reward. Thank you, uh, Raymond. Y'all give us 531 likes. Thank you, C-Rose. But a lot of men, once it's kind of like, let's, let's say this. Once you hit a particular level in your life, ladies, to where you do not look like the ideal package or the ideal candidate, the, the ideal woman, right? And again, we're not even talking about um, you being somebody that's, not attractive. Like you can be an attractive woman. I see all the time attractive women get passed the fuck up. Now she may get passed around, but she gets passed up nonetheless. So that happens. But what I'm talking about is this. Men are sitting around like, I don't think it'd be a wise idea to take all of my hard work my earnings, my money, you know, um, uh, my energy, my love and all of that, my support, my investment. I don't think it would be wise to pour that into her when I can get, again, a younger, um, more moldable, coachable, fertile, all of that type of woman to where I can actually see how, you know, uh, not even see, let's say, let's say it like this, to where I can actually be able to reap more and get more out of her than somebody that is maybe more stuck in their ways or once again would drag me down. Are y'all following me with that? So, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you look like a nice young lady. Um, you seem to now have learned your lesson, right? Because the the importance of this dope discussion is for those men out there that are like, you know what? I've realized my, my, my faults. I've realized my mistakes. I know what I need to do now. I know, I know, I know. And again, you could be that type of woman that to where, you know, you're ready to be an asset to a man. However, in comparison to, again, the other, you could look like, no, it's, it's not a good deal. It's like, it's like being an older car, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're, this is an older car and it's in great shape. Yeah, it had a few accidents back in the day, but they were able to get it fixed up, cleaned up. And yeah, it, it's doing, it's got a lot of miles on it and everything, but I mean, it's running well. I feel like I can get a few good years out of it. Whereas I can get, let's say a newer vehicle, you know, and maybe invest a little bit more into it. And it could get me a lot more years out of it than this older model that again, could be in great condition. It can be in good condition. Again, had a lot of accidents, got a lot of miles on it. I could probably get maybe 10 get good years out of it. But with this car right here, with the right amount of investment into this, I can get at least double that. Don't got, let's say I only got uh, 3,000 miles on it. Oh yeah, we can we can definitely. Oh hell yeah, that one got you know two hundred thousand miles. Oh, great car, it's in good shape. But ew, this is what we're dealing with, and again, that can sound so tasteless, so superficial, so heartless, and all that. But I'm just being honest. This is the the mentality that a lot of my brothers have. It's like, well, yeah, she could be that, and but I could probably get more out of this. So although she could be presenting well, like, you know, she has a lot going for herself, which she probably does, how much can I get out of it, though? 
would I have to um, constantly go and get everything checked? You know, whereas with this, it's going to be pretty much smooth sailing. Am I going to have to constantly fight back and forth to get things to work? But with this one, it's pretty much already in good shape. So this is what we're running into, ladies. And, and a lot of us don't realize that until we do have all these damn miles on us. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about sexually. I'm talking about like, we're just so, we, we are the bag ladies. We will not only weigh our damn selves down, but we'll weigh down anybody that wants to get in a relationship with us, whatever. We'll set them back. Because we got too many miles on us. Financial wise, maybe physical wise, emotional wise, reputation wise, attitude wise. It's just like, it's too many miles on that. I'd rather get something to where I can break it in myself and I'll know exactly how to, you know, work with it. But if I get with that one, it's just too much work I got to do, potentially. Even though it could be a great car. And I, I hope y'all follow me. If not, it is what it is. This is why it's so imperative for me to have these dope discussions and talk about these things because I'm trying to actually prevent you ladies from getting to a point to where men are looking at you like, that's not a good deal. It's not a good investment. I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, it's good now, but I may only get only so much out of it. I may only get so much of a return out of my investment. It's not worth it for me.